Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. Last episode, we were working on getting recovered from the war that we fought against Genoa and the Norse Empire. Um, and we are pretty much recovered as far as manpower goes, so we are ready to uh, go back to war if we so desire. And what we were looking at is who we were going to make the target of our next expansion. And I was looking at Australia... Because this piece of their territory I want, right? But they have put together a pretty good network of alliances. Um, you know, Ireland, Pomerania, Georgia, Aquitaine, and Toledo. Now, they will all join them on their side if we go to war with them. So, that could get a bit messy. So, we're going to kind of leave Australia alone for a little bit. Um, we're going to try and focus our efforts elsewhere, which we were looking at best. We've already moved our army over. And we have uh, ships under construction to bolster the, our navy. And we will see what we can get done over here. So, let's go ahead and unpause it. Get things rolling. Um, the... Colonies continue to grow pretty well. Macedonia and Brazil is looking nice and big like that. Uh, Sayak is building a spine arc, whatever. Uh, let's see, are we self-sufficient over here yet? No, because we, we just started uh, establishing that colony. Native uprising, no big deal. Croatia declared war on their new enemy, Bavaria. Interesting. Bavaria. Alright, and one little problem is this... This province right here. We can't core it. Because it isn't connected to us, I think. So... That is causing us to retain a percentage of overextension, which is going to give us a little bit of trouble if we absorb some more territory. We'll have to be very careful about how much we take. Hopefully I will remember to keep an eye on that. Alright, so... I mean, I think... We're almost ready. Ah, we're, we're getting those new ships. That's what we were waiting for, is the new ships. These should be transports, right? Yes. Uh, bring these guys over here. Got some more of our new combat vessels. We're now minstrel recently across our nation's borders. Um, yeah, we'll gain the stability point. All right, these guys are all combat vessels. So they can come over here. We don't have any... Well, we still do have a few more. The galleons are still under construction. But it looks like most of the light ships and the galleys are done. Alright, so you guys... Merge up there. Guys, merge up. Oh, let's just crank the speed up here.
Oh, another native uprising. That's normal. Let's see. New tech. Uh, lines. 22. We got what? Stock exchange. Local trade power plus 125%. Two decker. Naval morale. Naval maintenance. Let's do it. Alright, they did increase our naval maintenance, but we're still making a ton of money. Permanent navies. Permanent navies have gone from being exceptional cases to becoming the norm. The institutions devoted to control of the new these new navies beginning to take much more active part in the procurement of supplies for the construction and upkeep of the ships. Okay, good. Alright, and we got our new galleons. Oh, I think I missed one. Got some new transports. Looks like we still have some more construction there. A couple more guys. Alright, well, I'm not too worried about the transports right now. As long as our combat navy is good to go. So... People are complaining about our narrow-minded approach to new ideas. They claim we are running roughshod over ancient philosophical liberties. And similar nonsense. Okay, we lost the stability point. All right, so let's take a look at this. Uh, we'll fast declare war. We have a show superiority cast as Belli, which we can still use to gain territory. All right, they will bring in Aragon. Um, we will bring in Aquitaine. I'm not gonna treat them as a co-belligerent. Georgia, Chernigov, Croatia, none of those guys will join. They're way too far away anyway. What I'm hoping is that Aquitaine can keep Aragon busy. I mean, how is Aquitaine's manpower situation? Let me just Let me just take a look at that first. Aquitaine. 38, 48,000 with 12,000 manpower in reserve. That's not a ton. But yeah, they should be alright. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Confirm it. My ports are blockaded. <laughs> I don't think so. Alright, we are going to do this uh, similar thing that we did with um, the last warp here we're just gonna do a straight march march in and bring guys in as backup land theft oh, who do we want to side with here um clergy Guess we'll side with the clergy. We won. We lost one. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Light ship, that's okay. A revolt. Get this guy a leader. Hopefully this guy will join me. 
and I engage. Come on. Come help. Yes. Ah, not like we need to. Alright, put the revolt down. Alright, march those guys over there. Alright, piece of cake. Oh, nope. Actually, we could. I think we got, yeah, we gotta get that uh, castle first. Then we'll use the fleet to end around the castle a little bit. Can we go here? No. How is it going over here? Okay, not so good for Aquitaine. It looks like... Whose army is this? Fess's army has decided to take on Aquitaine. Oh, well, if they can keep him busy and do a little bit of damage to him, that's good. In a military engineer. Hold on. We need to get some more generals. Even if it costs me some points. No, not conquistadors. Another general. Colony is self-sustained. Alright, excellent. Looks like that's as far as we're going to be able to expand up there for now. We'll still keep an army up there. Is this colony self-sustaining yet? No. All right, we took it. We're going to swoop in and siege as much of their territory as we can and hope that, again, Aquitaine can sacrifice their manpower to keep them busy. Got it. I'll get over there, start sieging that. Occupied. Minus 84%. And we now control it. Okay, so... Truce expired, and don't worry about that. We can actually get in there. We're gonna do a kind of circuitous route, and I think 
Actually, no. My combat fleet. Get my combat fleet in the Straits of Gibraltar. Well, these guys are actually locking it down. Because with... I think that's what actually what happened. Is we had a combat fleet lock down the Strait of Gibraltar so they can't actually cross. So they had to go north. Alright, so I'm going to try and get as much of this... Get this done as fast as possible. Get across the strait. But I don't want to do that until I can get across the strait in force. So we're going to hold up. Uh, we can do an idea. Diplomatic relations plus one. Diplomacy tech is plus 140%. So, yeah. I mean, that's admin power. Uh, okay, yeah, let's take it. Because what is the size of their army? It looks like it's... 60, almost 90,000 troops. Which we can deal with. So I got 30,000... So, 30... Yes, I think I have enough. So, I'm gonna start... ...pushing guys across here. And this may induce them... ...to start sending troops... ...south come at me. I took Gibraltar. Alright, we want to keep everybody within one province distance of each other. Patient. Yep, okay. Wow, that's actually fast on that siege. Ah. That guy became self sufficient, so let's send Connus there. Hopefully, we can get it. Somehow we're at minus 24% war score. Best accepted peace. Uh, Aquitaine got driven out of the war. That means their army is coming for us. This probably means I can't sue for peace. No, they won't take anything. So we should probably actually go ahead and combine this up. Eh, 
Man, this seat just taking a while. Yeah, they're bringing their armies down. I want to catch this army. I think I've got them. Oh, nope. I got that piece. Oh, and they're moving in 30,000 more troops. Keep hitting these guys. Perfect. Oh, we finally took it. All right, get him over here. Alright, we've taken everything that Vess owns south of Gibraltar. What we really need to do is we need to get all of Vess's territory siege down. These guys need to basically uh, whack a mole their little tiny armies. While this guy takes care of getting the sieges done. Oh, we don't have a leader? Get reinforcements in there. Uh, looks like we're gonna win. Let's just make sure. Uh, get these guys a leader. A new settlement. We gain some prestige. Base tax. The base tax. I can't march there. I can't march there. Uh, can I split this in half and send some guys there? No, apparently I can't. Might be able to send some guys to Toledo, though. Our manpower is still good. Where is the... Where's the castle? I think it's right here. Let's get over there and get the castle. I think that did cost Aquitaine some territory. Uh, let's see, admin power. Let's tax it. Oh, speaking of admin power, let's get some uh, culture conversions going. 
This is another minus 70? Man, what do they got as far as their forts? Jeez. Got Toledo, so we can take this out now. Peace offer from Aragon. 10% of their income each month to pay for war reparations. Hold on. So they want a separate piece out. And it'll give me 10% of their income. Actually, you know what? We'll take that. We will take it. What is this? A peasant army? Another peasant army? Well, uh, let's split this then. Send this guy down there to take care of that peasant army. I get my stuff back. Get in there. Get that sieged. I right, got that back. Rumors are sweeping the country that there has been a shortage in salt production. Although we have tried to quash these rumors, people are certain. There will be a salt crisis soon. Okay, so... Another minus 70%. They must have really built up their forts. Alright, well let's... I think we're safe to go ahead and crank the speed up a little bit. Our revolt. This is self-sufficient. Okay, so... Oh, I got there in time. Good. Why are they having revolts? Alright. Got this. Ah, Fess wants out. Declined. Right, we'll send a missionary over there. People are pleased. Okay, clergy gain some loyalty. Royal marriage from Chernigov. We'll accept it. Let's see, nobility. Uh, I gotta look at this. We get influence of the nobility in our state. They claim that many lower low members of the nobility are disregarding the peace and law of the land. Uh, let's see. Gain one base tax. Nobility estate gains 15 loyalty. And the merchant guilds will lose. The ability estate will lose. Hold on. Uh, can we get them some more loyalty back? Okay, there we go. Oh, there's that stinking... Okay. You guys, merge up. Get down there, knock down that peasant revolt. No fess. Wow, 
I don't think I can, can get, get over there. Uh, can I get over there? Yes, I can. March over there. Drink it. Uh, no, no, hold on. Stop. Stop, stop. Okay. Uh, march there. Maximum monarch power reached. Oh, we hit maximum military power. Uh, let's see. Shipbuilding time minus 10%. Um,. That's for what? Admin power. This is not ahead of time. So we're actually going to wait on this, the Constitution. Use the social casualties. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that. All right. All right. So, nope. Can't go anywhere until both these are sieged down. Um, I guess we can go burn some admin, some uh, military power to improve our manpower a little bit. In, like some of our core areas. There we go. That got sieged. All right, let's get another culture or province converting culture. Siege of Leon's over. to get the maximum possible war score right now. All right. Perfect. We're at 70%. The war is won. Your occupation. Um, is that my war exhaustion being really high? It's been 52. Diplomatic power to drop it. Alright, yeah, it probably is time to go ahead and just put this to rest. Let's see, what do we want? We gotta keep an eye on our overextension. I don't want that one. I want... How much overextension we currently have? We're 12%. So that means we don't want to go any higher than 88%. We get all their coastals. 87.2%. Uh, yep, let's do it. Send it. Oh, actually, no. Take all their money. And demand war, rep war reparations. Oh, I won't demand war reparations. Can I actually drop this to a point where they will? Yes. Let's do that. Send demands. Ninety-nine point two percent overextension. 
All right, let's get all the cores going that we can. Let's get some uh, conversions running. And let's get our armies back where this where they belong. Conversion successful. All right. Cleansing a heresy, Cassus Belli. Not too worried about that. All right, looks like we can park that there. All right, that was a fairly successful war, though it did kind of beat Aquitaine up a little bit, but you know, whatever. Great advisor and our employee has died. Let's see, what do we got? Let's actually slow this down a bit. National Manpower Modifier, Fort Defense Morale Armies. 19? Uh, go with the Morale of Armies, I guess. One of our iron mines has hit some lower quality iron ore. Okay. Uh, and let's bring the fleet back to port. Okay, so, we are actually kind of long on this episode now, so we'll probably go ahead and just end it here. Sire, sire, the Herald doesn't even attempt the highest excitement. Great news, a son of our family is next in line to a foreign throne. Take that, Von Habsburgs. Alright, so a noble of the Argeidae family. The strong claim becomes heir in Chernigov. All right. Can we alliance with Chernigov? I thought we had an alliance with Chernigov. Let me just set up a couple things here. Royal Mirror job was from Chernigov. Okay. Anything interesting that we can do there? No, we can't vassalize them or anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and end the episode here. Um, we are working on our project to make the Mediterranean and Macedonian Lake. We got a bunch more coastal provinces. So, we will continue work on that project when we come back. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.